Hey there guys and welcome back. Welcome to another Boost Box Wednesday. We've got some more Vivid Voltage. Gonna get this open. So we're down to where we just need a few non-hollow rares, and obviously we're gonna need some hollows. We don't know how many yet, but the main thing we're looking for, Vs, V Maxes, Rainbows, what else? Full arts, etc. All that good stuff. All the good stuff. We did find out uh, between last one and this one that Charizard is actually supposed to be a non-hollow. Surprise. We had been uh, assuming that the non-hollow was exclusive to the decks, but it was not. Ooh, that's a very really pretty start. Ooh, yeah. That's a very nice Xerneas. That might be our first one of those. Have some comments. But because it's not exclusive, we have you know, a ton of uh, non hollows because they were in previous kits and such. The non foil like and rock, and I think we need that one. Laura actually has a list. Laura, what uh, non hollow rares do we still need? A Ginger, two Burnett, that, that might be it. All right. Well, it's probably kind of unlikely that we get two Burnett's, but you never know. One would be nice. One Burnett, one Shininja would be nice, but not as nice as a Rainbow Pikachu V Max. Yeah. He is the V pole from the set. Ooh, it's a nice foil loot. We still need a regular Pikachu V that doesn't have dirt all over it. <laughs> oh, we got. Oh, we need one more. We've gotten three so far. And one was dirty. I thought we did it two, and one was dirty. If you're wondering what that was? Chip a few booster box Wednesdays back. Yeah. Also, I'll say this now. Merry Christmas. Oh, is it that time? Probably. <laughs> Where uh, this is going to be about a month out from now, maybe six weeks, so somewhere in that range. If it's not Christmas, it's close to Christmas. I'll just say Happy post Thanksgiving. Oh, it's definitely going to be after Thanksgiving. Maybe I'll just say Happy Christmas in the next like. Oh, there's a Charizard. Can confirm he's not hollow in the packs. <laughs> Still maybe sleeve him up because I think he's like $10 non-hollow. Oh, okay. So. So that was uh, misreported, I guess, on Bulbapedia and other places. Now we know. Oh. It's him again. Is that our third or fourth Galarian Darmanitan VMAX? Uh, I think it's our third, maybe. That's, it's been a few. Had a few. I think we've had a couple of regular Pikachu V Maxes. I think it's just the ring. I want more. I would like cards that we don't already have. I don't think I have two. I thought we pulled two. Okay, well. Pulled a lot of Jolteon, I know that. Yeah. Not that many Vaporeon, sadly. You're just keeping that VMAX. Oh, I guess you can have it back. <laughs> Put him on screen. It's a nice wash energy. So we're getting close to the end of the first half of the box. So hopefully we should start hitting some more stuff soon. Ooh, well there's something. There we go. Hey, let's go back. <laughs> so this is, I think, the last amazing rare that we had pulled zero of. So that's now all six amazing rares. We have at least one of. This is a very cool looking one. I like that one a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think this is one where it definitely looked better with the Japanese borders. I know people talk about the borders a lot. And obviously because it's a white card, the white sure. silver border looked better. But like by the same token, I think like uh, Raikou looks better in the English with the yellow border, so it blends into the card well. But that is still a very cool looking card. And there's the Burnett. That's one that we needed. So we just need one more Burnett and a Shininja. So hopefully a Shininja from this box would be nice. And in terms of amazing rares, we want more Rayquaza, we want either of the dogs. I think is how it needs to be. 
Ooh, reverse Lugiana foil dial, good nice. Because we have got so many of uh, Celebi, Jirachi, and Raidu. But I mean, if you get them, we'll take them. So Whalema and a Beedrill. I'm gonna zoom out very slightly. It's gonna be very often when we're opening these, but just so we can get a bit more on screen easier. Let's the code for you there. Make sure that all the poles stay in the background. No C dot and a Lucario. I barely even look at the comments, I'll trust you. I just happened to notice because it was seated. I just count off five. We could be like getting any of those hidden McDonald's promos and we just never know. <laughs> it's a colossal V. I There's feel been... like you'd notice. Yeah, I would hope so. For people who don't know, um, the hidden McDonald's cards are. There's a McDonald's set, we think it's a McDonald's set coming out next year, that is for the 25th anniversary. Oh no, collapsing pile of cards behind the camera. And for the, what it's going to be, it's going to be each starter Pokemon, it looks like it's going to have a card and it's going to have the 25th anniversary stamp on it. But after, I think one came out, one Chimchar was found a few months ago, people have started finding more and more of them in Vivid Voltage packs. I mean, it's not in huge quantities, but it's definitely an amount. Got a grab block. We have a Togekiss VMAX. That's our first one of those, so second VMAX from the box. That's always nice. But that is the first half of the box, so we end up with a V, an Amazing Rare, and two VMAXs. That's pretty good for half the box. Wouldn't mind hitting some full art. Oh, the sun peeking out. I think it's... Uh, Oh, it's full art Leon. Ooh, That's very nice looking excellent. full art. So, alright, so I say we want to hit a full art and we hit a full art. So now we want to hit a rainbow rare. <laughs> I think we want to hit rainbow more than golden because the golden ones I think we've already hit. Um, well, that's the Shininja we needed. Okay. At least one of each of the Pokemon, which are the more expensive ones, I believe. I have. Obviously, haven't looked at current prices because this is a month in the future. What have we got? Ooh, Rose X and a Shaman. That's a really good Shaman. So, in terms of non hollow rares, we just need one more Bennett and then we're done. Probably won't be this box though, since we already had a Bennett out of this box. It would be hilarious if it's not either of the next two boxes either. Because that's all we've got. Uh, well, there's a second Galarian Berserker from the box. Because, as of right now, we do not know uh, if or when Vivid Voltage is getting a reprint. Because it had a very short initial print run. Yeah, I don't understand that. You know that pandemic thing that's happening? I mean, How they had to shut a lot of places down. But Pokemon is so big right now. It, it's not bigger than a pandemic. No, but you can't go to a virus and be like, hey, Pokemon is really big right now, can you just not in the printing factory? I mean, but I... Like, they've, they've had to shut stuff down, we don't, we don't know when it's getting reprinted. I mean, there's rumors of it be getting reprinted in December, so by the time this video comes out, it may have already been reprinted. We don't know yet. Or we might just be at a point where, you know. Ooh. Wow, it's the third VMAX in this box. Yeah. All right. So you've hit three VMAXs and a full art so far. This is a good box. Would rather it be the other way around, but we'll take it, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, this, these are, uh, I guess, eight videos worth of boxes and pre-release kits. Might be all we can get of Vivid Voltage for the foreseeable future. And we might have to wait until a reprint comes out much later. Or, you know, it may have been reprinted, it may be everywhere. We'll just have to see. Okay. Ooh, we've got another Ampharos V. It's a nice card. Say so, another. You know, that we've that before we haven't opened this video, obviously. That's still only our second uh, regular V from this box. We've had three V Maxes. 
Something's coming. Oh, something is coming. What? what? <laughs> Did this box just mix up the V's and V Maxes? Because. Maybe. And that's two of the same. Wow, that's two of the same V Max from the same box. <laughs> Alright. I mean. Seems fine, I guess. That's a strange box. This is, this one's weird. Yeah. Nuzzle leaf and electros. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> it's just a very, very odd occurrence. It, it was pretty well summed up by both of us going, what? Yeah. So you don't normally expect to get this many VMAXs from a box and you don't expect to get doubles of a VMAX from a box. VMAX is normally, I mean VMAX is normally one to two per box anyway that we've seen for all the sets. That's true, yeah. Ooh, an amazing rest Selby. It's one of the ones we already have loads of, but it's a very cool card nonetheless. Yeah, I think that they are one where definitely it's, it's very, very off. We haven't had that many regular hollows this box as we either, have we? We've had a few, I guess. I guess when all of your regular hollows are replaced by V Maxes, there's just not that many of them. <laughs> Samurai and a Terrakian. It's a nice looking Samurai. How many packs we got left? We only have three packs left. We went through this video. I get through, <laughs> get through this video. We went through this box pretty quick. Very short video. Just loads and loads of Emaxes. Got a Go Goat and a regular Togekiss V to go with our two Togekiss V Maxes. Nice. All right. So. Huh. That is weird. So are we now tied on uh, V's and V Maxes? Looks to be that way. A reverse Mighty Yenna and an, another Beedrill. I'm sure we've had a few Beedrills from this box already. Alright, it's so a final pack. Okay. Yeah. Even if it's just Binette. <laughs> For urban, not just Binette. It's Croc Rock and Red No. Womp Womp. But that was still a pretty crazy box. Final code. Let's just pull these up and have a nicer look at them. So amazing rares, we got Selby, and we got Rayquaza, very cool, very nice. Uh, Vs didn't get too many, we got Amphros, Colossal, and a Togekiss, and then VMAX is where it happened for this box, we got an Orbeetle VMAX, a Galarian Darmanitan VMAX, and two Togekiss VMAX, and then of course we got a Full Art Leon. So weird, but very cool box. Yeah, we, we take those. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what to say to that. I'm just very, very confused by the whole situation. Anyway, that is it from us for today. Uh, hopefully by the time these come out, we'll have our binders and stuff put together and know what we want, but we don't know while we're filming, so who knows how far we are on with the set. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome Pokemon content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>